Hi there. Here I am doing another dog tile. A friend of mine uh, sent me a couple photos of his uh, cousin's dogs. The two had passed away uh, apparently recently. He had some decent photos, so um, I thought, why not? He has a laser engraver too, and he's been playing around with uh, various things. Uh, he hasn't tried any tiles yet, but he thought this one wouldn't burn uh, very well because of all the white, uh, light colors, and the dog is white, of course. But uh, thought I'd show you. I love it when the face becomes visible. One nice thing about doing the dog tiles, I get to see a lot of pretty dogs. And this one's a pretty one. I just realized after I finished the tile, uh, I'll show you the finished tile when it's ready, but um, I forgot to put the name of the dog on there. So, but I can go back and uh, engrave it in that, uh, etch it in that light area there on the right hand corner, lower right hand corner. It's a short enough name, so I can put that in there and just spray it again in that corner and uh, put it back in the machine and do just the text. This little machine makes such a nice, nice etched tile. Of course, part of the formula for success is uh, the spraying of the uh, titanium dioxide and alcohol. That's what I use. Uh, this is processed in the with the Atkinson uh, image mode in Lightburn. I don't use image or I do it directly in Lightburn. That's the tile right off the uh, right off the engraver. And here's the tile after I washed it, scrubbed it with some a Brillo pad. There you go. I think it turned out pretty nice. Another memorial dog tile. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye now.